we're kind of getting away from that, you know. Yes. Like they have to have a big beat, they have to have something special, flashy, Come on. and it's not about that. That's right. It's about That's worshiping God. Right. Amen. He's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. That's right. He'll never change. That's right. So let's keep that in mind. here and praise God. That's the most important thing. Amen. And that's it. Uh, we don't want your money, but God wants your soul. I use that one a lot. Amen. Right. Amen. And that's the facts. Um, does anybody have any prayer requests this evening? Let's pray for uh, your wife, obviously. Uh, this this ministry here. Uh, I know me, you, and Sam's kind of been talking back and forth, and yeah, I, 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 I've said it before. I, I feel the harvest is coming, brother. So just pray for this little place here. Yeah, and uh, brother Jerry, for sure. Brother Jerry, yes, he's waiting to hear from you guys. And brother Richard Deans, uh, yes, he's still having some back issues and uh, job issues, and we'll continue to pray for him. Uh, he's, he's a big uh, uh, part of this ministry. And uh, so we keep him in our prayers. Yes, uh, well. And your Sherry, uh, who was it? Your Sherry? Yeah, Sherry. Sherry, yeah. And Sherry. Great. And uh, Bradshaw, it's your grand, grandma or your mom? My mom. Yeah, your mom. Anybody <coughs> else? Let's keep those folks in Boulder, Colorado, in prayer. Yes. And. Uh, that other shooting that happened, keep them in prayer, uh, not just for the families of the lost loved ones, but also the ones who committed the crime. Yes. That's still a soul that still needs saved. That's right. Yeah, that's right. And God can do it. Amen to that. Amen. Pray for us and our family. Amen. My uh, friend in Haiti, there's uh, a lot of bad stuff going on all over the world. Uh, she just said yesterday that there were two policemen in her area killed in riots and burnings, and, and uh, it's really bad right there. So I'd like to have them. And uh, all the children on my bus route. Yeah. Kind of hard for them. Amen to that. Amen. Okay, if we want to bow our heads, we're going to have opening prayer, and then I think uh, Brother Herb's going to bring the message or whoever feels good that we have the message. Heavenly Father, we call upon you tonight, Lord. Yes. Like always, Lord, we trust in you, Lord. We believe in you, Lord, to answer these prayers that we call upon our brothers and sisters, the people watching, yes. the families in need, Father, in all these cities in our country, Father, and also the ministry, Father. Lord, we just call upon you to bring the Holy Spirit here tonight, Lord, and, and just move this place, Father, and move people that's watching, Father, to come to you, to try to search you, Father. Lord, we ask you, Father, for all the people that's in sickness, Father, my wife. We trust in you for the healing, God. We trust in you for the healing, God. We trust in you for the healing, God. Yes. For all these people who's called upon you tonight, Father, we trust in you and you alone. Lord, we ask you to continue to move in a mighty way with all the, the ministry here and other ministries, Father, across the churches, Father. 
Lord, just bless them, Father, and let people search for you. Yes, Lord. And let them know it's Thank all you. about you. Yes. Not the building, not the not anybody in particular, but you. And Lord, we, we thank you for tonight. We thank the people that has come out here tonight and taken the time to come and time to watch, Father. And just bless them tonight with this uh, Spirit of God. And hopefully, they'll come to you. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes, that's all. <clears throat> Good evening, everybody. Thank you for coming out. I think these are all my water bottles back here, didn't you? Did you drink all those? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, I want to give the Lord the glory for calling me to preach. Amen. Amen. Brother Sam's got a different style of preaching. Brother Jim's got a different style of preaching. But we bring the true word. Yep. We preach the gospel. Amen. We're not ashamed. The gospel of Jesus. Amen. 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 If you have your Bibles, open them to Matthew chapter 6, beginning at verse 9. We're going to all say the Lord's Prayer together. That's how we want to open this up. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Beginning at verse 9, we'll start with our Father. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. 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 Now, if you jump down to verse 14, for if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Come on. But if ye forgive not men yep. their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I had this message put on my heart a couple of weeks back, speaking to an individual. And I got home and the Spirit of God flew all over me. I feel that forgiveness in the churches, not just this church, but all churches in general, does not get talked about enough. Come on. Right. The Lord went to the cross yes, come on. to forgive us of our sins. Yes. To wipe away every bit of the sin nature that is in us. He paid or send it at Calvary. Amen. 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 Now, I listen to a lot of preaching, a lot of teaching, just things of God in general on a daily basis. And, I, and, and for some odd reason, when this came across me, Brother Sam has been reaching out to me. Jim's been reaching out to me. And these last, I would say, week, He's put this Lord, the Lord's Prayer on my heart. You know, this is a this is a guide, an outline for us, a prayer life. Yeah. You know, some people struggle with, I don't, I don't know how to pray. He breaks it down right here for us. I've been in this so deep. I'm talking five, six hours of study just on the Lord's Prayer. Now, I might make this a month. Thing. I don't know, but he's, he's really laying it on me, but he wanted me specifically to go about forgiveness. Yeah. You know, because it's very important as Christians for our Christian walk to forgive others. Our relationships on earth must include regular opportunities for forgiveness to strengthen our relationship with the Lord. Psalms 86 5 says, For thou, Lord, art good and ready to forgive. And plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. All them. 
That call upon him. That's right. Call. Oh. We have to allow God to get into our hearts, to get in right here and work from the inside out. He's got to come in here. That's right. Talking to the preachers, you know, God lays something on your heart. It's stirred inside. And you got to get it out. It's the same thing. Forgiveness is the central virtue in God's treasure chest. God's forgiveness of us and our forgiveness of others. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now, we all stood here praying or sat here. Forgive us of our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Sometimes it's easy to forgive. Sometimes it's not. That's right. Many times we seem powerless to forgive, no matter how hard we try. This is when God's forgiving grace, all oh, that amazing grace, how sweet yes. the sound, yes. has saved a wretch like me. That's right. Amen. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Amen. I was blind. All oh, praise God is now I see. Because of the blood. <laughs> yes. Bless you. The Bible is one long story of how God reaches out to show his love and forgiveness to mankind. There are so many stories in this wonderful word. Search the scriptures yourself, but I'll point a few out. Joseph and his brothers in the Old Testament. Most of us know it. They stripped him of his coat as many colors. Threw him in a pit, left him for dead, sold him into slavery. Oh, but what God meant, for, the devil meant for the bad, God turned it for the good. That's right. Amen. So listen, if you, uh, in Genesis, this is just a little quick summary. Genesis 50, 15, it says, And when Joseph's brothers saw that their father was dead, they said, Joseph, we paired him to hate us. And will certainly requite us all the evil which we did unto him. And they sent a messenger unto Joseph, saying, Thy father did command before he died, saying, So shall ye Joseph say unto Joseph, Forgive, I pray thee now, the trespass of thy brother and their sin. For they did unto thee evil. And now we pray thee, Forgive the trespass of the servants of the God of thy father. And Joseph wept. When they spake of him, Joseph wept because he had already forgiven them. Amen. He'd already forgiven everything that they'd done to him. You know, then you could jump to the, 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 the story of the prodigal son. I'm not going to read it. It's in Luke 15. Go there, search it. But then you can jump back. I mean, I'm just giving you like little examples of the stories of forgiveness. What the word's telling us yes, come on. about forgiveness. Back to Psalms 32, <laughs> verses 1 through 5. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Yes. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord and putteth not in iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. When I kept silence, my bones waxed all through my roaring all the day long. For day and night, thy hand was heavy upon me. My moisture is turned into the drought of summer, shall I? I acknowledged my sin unto thee, and my iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, and thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. Yeah. Thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. Search the scripture. There's plenty yes. more yes. where that came Come from. On, man. Amen. Plenty more. Yes. Glory Study it. Study it. Get in the Word. We encourage it all the time up here. Get in to the Word. That's right. Only by calling on God for help are we able to truly forgive. I've wronged people in my life. I know we all have. People have wronged me. But I'll say it. That that same power. That rose Jesus from the dead. It lives in us. Jesus yes. lives in us. Yes. We have to be able to forgive. As he did. Yes. 
Amen. We should live like Jesus. Forgive one another. Love one another. Love and forgiveness walk hand in hand in our relationship with God. Yes. The Bible says to love thy neighbor as thyself. That includes your enemies. There's a lot of people around here that love themselves a lot. Yes. I mean, love themselves a lot. Yes. If they're loving that, themselves that much, they should be loving their enemies that much too. Yes. I mean, I'm not one to act like that, but I kind of love myself. But I love everybody. <laughs> I don't care if you do me wrong or not, I still love you. In order to love your enemies or your neighbor or anyone who's wronged you, you have to forgive. Forgive it all. Yes. You know, it's not just Jesus saying you know, you ought to forgive. Man, you might want to forgive that person. No, this is a command from yes. Jesus. Yes. Yes. He commands us to forgive one another. We have Jesus on us, inside of us. He's living in us. Because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. All sins are forgiven by God. All sin. Yeah. Because of what Jesus did at the cross. That's right. Mm -hmm. It all points to the cross. Every bit of it. Amen. Not just some sin, but all sin. Sin is sin. If you're living in it, if you're doing it, if you don't think it is, it doesn't matter. If God says it's sin, it's sin. Yeah. Come on. Yes, come on. You have to repent, be born again, the Bible says. Yes. The Bible says not only to forgive your enemies, your neighbor, or those who have wronged you, but to pray for them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Pray for one another. James says it. He says it in 5, 15, and 16. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he can have committed sin, they shall be forgiven him. Yes. Confess your faults one to another, and pray Amen. one for another, that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Pray for those who have wronged you, yes. who persecute you. There's coming a time. We're going to be persecuted That's all right. the time. That's right. Amen. Prayer is important for healing of sick, but it's also important for healing of the heart that is in need of accepting forgiveness. Yes. I mean, we pray all the time that he, the Lord heal this person. This, that, this, that. But how often do we say, Lord, help me to forgive somebody yes. that's done me wrong? I just went through that. Help me. <laughs> Help me. I went through a situation for a long time. I had a lot of hate. A lot of hate. And I didn't know if I could forgive this individual. But Jesus got a hold of me. <laughs> Jesus got a hold of my life and he won't let me go. That's right. Thank you, Lord. He Bless came you. into my heart. He came into my soul. Bless you, Father. None of us will ever be able to live a perfect life. That's why we need to be understanding and practice forgiveness in our daily lives. I said it before and I'll say it again. Our relationships on earth must include regular opportunities for forgiveness to strengthen our relationship with God. Yes. The Bible says, I will forgive their iniquity and I will remember their sins no more. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Forgiveness can be a critical issue among family members. We've all been there. I know I have. I know there's some individuals in here that have. So when you're going through tough times, when you need help forgiving a family member or anyone, call upon the name of the Lord. Amen. Jesus says you have not because you ask not. You're not asking him. You're one struggle. Yes. He's not just the God of forgiveness. He's the God of all comfort. Amen? Amen. Amen. 
The scriptures clearly teach that forgiveness is essential to reconciliation and restoration of a broken relationship. Now, I came across this, and I don't know who the author is. I looked and looked. All I could find was author unknown. But it says, an apology is a friendship preserver, an antidote for hatred, never a sign of weakness. It costs nothing but one's pride, always saves more than it costs, and is a, is a device needed in every home. An apology. Yeah. Uh, that's the big thing. I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, Lord, you want me to use that? Sure. Yeah. I couldn't quote who said it because I couldn't find it. <laughs> we have to have forgiveness in our hearts and in our minds. Uh, sometimes it may seem to be impossible to forgive other people, especially if they're purposely trying to hurt you. I've had people purposely trying to bring me down. Even when I got saved, the devil was coming at me hard through them. He was working through them to bring me down. But if Jesus, yes. all that work. Yes, come on. But if Jesus could forgive those who crucified him, then certainly we can forgive those who have hurt us, wronged us. Amen. Whatever it may be. Right. So I want you to think about this for a minute. Really, really think about this. Anytime you have someone that you think you can't forgive, just really, really focus <laughs> On Jesus. Yeah. I want you to think about all the bad that he went through for us. I mean, he was whipped. For by his stripes were healed, they say. Yes. He took a beating. They spit on him. They pulled his beard out. My wife pulls my beard and it hurts. Yeah. I, could, I could imagine. All the pain and all the suffering. Every drop of blood was for us. All while on the cross, taking up all our yes. sins. Thank you. Oh, Heavenly Father. Thank you, yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you. He looks up at the Heavenly Father. Yes. And he says, yes. Father, forgive them. Yes. For they know not what they do. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. And I know it's hard to forgive, but it's a command. He was dying on the cross and he said, forgive them for they know not what they do. Yes. And I know it's hard. I mean, there's a lot of people in this world who just want to inflict hurt and pain on people. And it's hard to forgive. It's hard to put it behind you. But the Bible says, with God all things are possible. That's right. With God, all things are possible. Yes. I'm going to end it with this scripture right here. Ephesians 4.32 says, And be ye kind one to another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. Yeah. Now that's all I got tonight. Mm -hmm. But I felt the Lord was needing somebody to hear this message about forgiveness. Yes. Amen. Amen. Now I'm, I'm, I'm really deep in study in this Lord's Prayer. There's a lot there that we can learn from. Yes. Amen. Yeah, it's a good prayer life. It's a good practice. So, Brother Sam, you know how it is. We don't know what the Lord's going to lay on our heart. I might preach on this for a month. Why not? Right. You just never know. Right. So that's all I have for this evening. Brother Sam, Brother Jim, whoever wants to close her out. Sam, you want to open her up and finish her out with some prayer? And some song. You got some some song. You got a song in your heart? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. I do want to thank the Lord for everything he's done. Uh, yes. Lord bless him.
new refrigerator and got it on this, this evening. And, and you know, I thought, I had it in my mind of how I was going to take it out of my truck and, and uh, get it set on the ground. And, and it didn't work out that way. Sometimes in life, we have something planned out and it doesn't work that way. Come on now. Yes, come on. And uh, I'm not talking about always just serious stuff, but even just little stuff like what I'm talking about. I want to thank God that he allowed that refrigerator to go from the bed of my truck to the ground. I'll just say that. Yeah, I'm thankful that he watches over us. Amen. Yes. Brother Herb, when we serve him, when we forsake everything else, we can just trust him for all things. <coughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Lord, and when God. we think we've got that perfect picture of, of how something in our life and our daily walk is, is going to go, and it doesn't go that way, we can trust that God will yes. cover our ignorance. Amen. God will cover all the unseen. Hallelujah. And he'll keep us safe from all hurt, harm, and danger. That's right. And he'll cause us to have a testimony. Yes, yes he will. Praise God. <laughs>
this. Brother Jim, I'm so grateful for this. That God will hear everybody. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm so grateful that God will hear it if we just call out to this. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving me. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen.
God. This is what we feel here tonight, Brother Herbert. It doesn't stop here. We take it home with us. Tomorrow when we wake up, it's still with us. Yes. Praise you yes, for everything, Lord. Yes, bless you. Thank you, Father, Lord, for everything. Yes, thank you. Lord, as we go our separate ways, Lord, we ask that you would keep us, lead us, and guide us. Give us our traveling mercy. Father, Lord, until we meet again, Lord, let us be alive into a lost and dying world. Yes. Let your name be glorified above all names. Father, Lord, we just pray, Lord, that you would use us. To be that vessel that will draw someone to you. Thanks, Lord. Father, we give you all the honor, glory, and praise. In your Son, Jesus the Christ, most holy name we pray. Amen. 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 Consider yourselves dismissed. Hallelujah.